Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to turn off auto renew subscriptions or other add ons using the PlayStation phone application. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So the new PlayStation phone application is out now for everyone to use. If you're using the old PlayStation application, this one has automatically been updated and it should look like this. However, you may be able to still use the old PlayStation message app. Just go ahead and switch over to the PlayStation application itself and it should look like this. Now, one thing to be aware of when you are using this new application is auto renew is turned on by Default meaning that if you go ahead and get to the end of your subscriptions life cycle and you have a credit card already on your account, it's going to go ahead and charge that credit card automatically. So how do you go ahead and get this to stop? Now I have on my PlayStation 4 auto renew turned off, but when I was in the PlayStation store on my phone application, if you look down at the bottom, go to the PlayStation store. Then in the upper right, you see three lines. Go ahead and select this, and this is gonna bring you to this page. Now go to your payment methods, and this will allow you to add in a new credit card or other payment methods. You can even add funds through this. So let's go ahead and go to payment methods. Now, if this is your first time on the screen and you look at the bottom, you're gonna be surprised, and you're gonna see the automatic renew is turned on so what it says is automatically add funds to renew subscriptions or pay for pre-ordered content so that is on by default and you may want to go ahead and chart mark that off and just go ahead and swipe it to the left if you want to keep it on great now another thing to be aware about it says required password at checkout meaning anytime you use this application to go ahead and even buy something free from the PlayStation Store, you're gonna to have to type in your password before you can go ahead and do that. So go ahead and make sure you have that to the right or left depending on your needs. So that is how you go ahead and on checkmark and get rid of auto renew subscriptions on your PlayStation 4 phone application. And it's real easy to do. However, it's just on by default and a lot of people may not understand this or know this. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech out videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.